What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tonight, we're going to be making Mongolian beef. Not on the Blackstone. It has officially been four straight days of rain down here in South Florida. And I am sorry. I love you guys, but I am not cooking in the rain <laughs> again. I've done it before. Tonight, we're going to stay inside the Big Cat Casita and cook right here on the stove. So looking forward to it. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you do and uh, maybe we can do this again. So what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you for all the support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with some hoisin sauce. Three tablespoons. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> That's right. Three tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Next up, we are going to use some uh, sweet soy glaze, which I could not find, but I did find this P.F. Chang's Mongolian style barbecue sauce. It was awesome uh we're gonna continue with two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of soy sauce one tablespoon of white vinegar and three tablespoons of water and we're gonna whisk this really good and get that brown sugar to dissolve beautiful next up we take some ginger and you just want to cut off about a, a quarter size and just chop that up and mince it nice and fine. And we are going to do one tablespoon, or I'm sorry, one teaspoon of minced ginger. Next up, we have some garlic. And we're going to, once we get the skin off, we're going to smash them down and we're going to chop up two tablespoons of garlic. You can use the, the, the minced garlic in a jar. I've used that before, but I happen to have some fresh garlic, so why not? Two tablespoons. And then we have our chuck pot roast, some chuck beef. This is a good alternative. A lot of uh, people use flank steak for this dish, but chuck is just as good in my opinion. So we're gonna speed this up, but you wanna slice these against the grain at an angle at about I don't know, a quarter inch thickness. So we're about done here. You can see the slices. Um, good size, good size bites here for this Mongolian beef. All right, so here we're going to take a half a cup of cornstarch and we are going to salt and pepper to taste. Uh, this is all up to you. Um, I used about a teaspoon of each and that was fine. So some salt, some fresh ground pepper, and then here is where we are going to coat our beef with this. And this is going to give that crispy, crunchy exterior uh, before we add our sauce. So you can do it hand by hand or you can do it all in one shot. We're going to speed it up here. I decided to do it piece by piece. That way I was sure that it got coated all the way around. And here's what it looks like. So we just set this off to the side and move on. We have our chili peppers. We're gonna use six chili peppers and some green onions, a stock of green onions. And we're just gonna chop these into like an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half, whatever your preference is. Pick off the ends there and then about a roughly inch and a half uh, chops and this is going to be a great addition to our Mongolian beef. So set those off to the side. That's going to go in last. So we take some oil, about a, about a quarter inch of oil, and heat that up on a pretty medium high heat. Right there, that bubbling is kind of what you're looking for. And we are just going to cook these for two minutes on the first side. And then after two minutes, we're going to flip them over. Once they get golden brown, and there you go, you start flipping these over, and they are looking delicious. Perfect. That's exactly what you're looking for right there. 
You don't want to let these go too long because they will dry out. They're thin slices of meat. So uh, two minutes on one side and then one minute on the other side, which goes very fast. And that's it. Take them out. We do these in batches. So I ended up doing three batches. And after three batches, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, that's still the first batch coming off there, but I'm going to bore you. <laughs> so I did three batches. And you could stick them all in there, but you want them to nice and cook and evenly and get crispy all around. You can see how it's crispy there on that the exterior of that beef. Then we're going to add two to three tablespoons of oil after we take out the old oil. And then we are going to add in our two teaspoons of minced ginger. And we're going to get that incorporated into the oil. Just like so. Then we're going to add our chopped garlic and our peppers. And we're just going to mix it all together for about a minute or so and get it aromatic. And man, let me tell you, it is aromatic. <laughs> So get those heated up and you'll see them starting to get translucent a little bit. And then we're going to add our beef right back in. This is such an easy dish. It's unbelievable how easy this is. Uh, it's, it really does not take much to do. Not much prep time and not much cooking time either. So excellent dish. Uh, I'm sure you, uh, a lot of people have had this at P.F. Chang's or other uh, Asian restaurants it's very good and it's super easy to do so that's it you want to cook that back in there for about a minute and get it all incorporated and then we're going to add our sauce and then mix that up and get that all incorporated as well it does not take long everything is pretty much cooked now we're just kind of combining all the flavors and getting it uh, glazed you want to get that glaze all over that beef you want every single piece of beef to have an even coating of glaze and you can see the peppers are just staying nice and intact but they're the colors coming out in those and man it is the smell now <laughs> is just out of control in my kitchen in the casita so looking good right here and then final step we add our green onions right at the end you don't want to let them cook too long because they will get too soggy so you just want to put them in there like a minute or even 30 seconds before you serve it up mix it up a little bit get them get them going and then just serve and look at how beautiful this dish is i cannot wait let's go give it a try some Mongolian beef on the stove in the big cat casita that's right we cooked on the stove tonight in the kitchen tell me how you liked it do you like this video because homeboy's got some skills in the kitchen let me tell you so if you want to see some more let me know and this came out looking amazing we're going to try it out but first a close-up Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful and it's so easy to do. So easy, so much fun. Imagine serving this to your guests. Oh my goodness. Let's dig in. Oh yeah, oh my God, this looks so amazing. Look at the color. Mm. Nice and crispy on the exterior. Sweet flavor. That ginger's coming through. 
and a little bit of heat, not much. You want heat, cut these peppers open, but I would not recommend eating them like this because they are hot. Mm. But let me tell you, this chuck is so tender and nice and crispy. Let me try with some rice. Mm. <laughs> that is good stuff. Everybody, tell me what you think. Did you like it? You want me to do some more stuff from in the kitchen? I would like to know. I loved it. This came out phenomenal. You should definitely give it a try. It tastes just as good, if not better, than the Mongolian beef at P.F. Chang's. Give it a shot. It's so easy to do, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So, everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat, out.